If you've been paying attention to my YouTube channel for a while now, then you'll know back in 2016 I did a series called YP's Thoughts. This was a series where I quickly took a look at things that I wanted to quickly talk about, such as animated movies, TV shows, games, etc. But let's just say that I was incredibly late on doing other movie reviews that year, and I've decided to make up for it, I'm going to be starting a brand new Yoshi Player tradition. This is where I'm going to take a look at all the theatrical animated movies that were released in the previous year. So that means I'm going to take a look at movies like Lego Batman, Cars 3, Despicable Me 3, Coco, and much more. Considering how much I love animation, I thought it would be really cool to do this new tradition to talk about all the animated films that have came out the previous year. Now some of you may question that this is going to be very similar to the Nostalgia Critics Disney December, but hey, if I can do the same thing with Pie Guy Rules and the whole Spongebob video tradition, I can do the same thing with Nostalgia Critics. I think it's a cool idea and I wanted to do it with something that I really really enjoy, which is animated films. And of course, before I begin, I should always say the same thing I've always said before doing these reviews, which I'm kind of getting sick of saying at this point. This is just my personal opinion. If you like or hate any of these movies, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just me sharing my silly personal opinion. That said, it's time to get started with the animation explosion, the new Yoshi player tradition to review every animated film in the previous year. Well, what better way to start the tradition than with the first animated film that came out in 2017, the Lego Batman movie. Now before I review this, I will just say that I've always loved the Lego movie. It is personally one of my favorite animated films of 2014. Anyway, before this movie was released, I was both excited and nervous about it. I was excited because we were getting another Lego movie and it starred Batman, who was one of the funniest characters in the Lego movie, but I was also nervous because this is repeating the same formula that I'm so sick of seeing of giving comic reliefs their own movie. And if you've been keeping up with my channel for the past few years, then you know that I've never liked this formula. A lot of companies have done this. Disney's done it with The Lion King 3 and Cars 2, Illumination's done it with Despicable Me, DreamWorks did it with Shrek, although in Shrek's case it actually wasn't that bad, and now Warner Brothers is doing it with the Lego movie. Well, now I can safely say that this concept is actually working for once because I really liked the Lego Batman movie. The plot to this movie involves Batman, well, just being Batman, taking names, doing great things, and just being a great superhero. That is until new characters enter his life, and now Bruce Wayne has to put his lone wolf ranger stuff aside in order to work with others. So just to reassure people, this movie focuses on the Batman in the Lego movie, not the Batman that we've known ever since his history has started. This movie doesn't really have any connections to the Lego movie. Sure, Batman is still a master builder, but there's no connection to the Lego movie. In fact, it's primarily a Batman movie. Well, more of a Batman spoof movie. The comedy in this movie is just great. I love the Lego movie, but if I had to say which movie was funnier, it would certainly have to be this movie. There there are references from Batman's history all throughout, and it is glorious. Oh sure, this movie may have a few emotional moments here and there, but for the most part, it is a comedy, and it sticks to that. Jokes and references are constantly being thrown at you supersonic speed. The characters are pretty well done too, even if some of them do feel a little bit copied over from the Lego movie, but man do I love the guy playing Joker in this movie. The animation and the delivery, this is the best Joker character I've seen since The Dark Knight back in 2008. The characters are just really well done here. Now with that said, there are certainly some problems that I have with this movie. Just like with the Lego movie, the action is a bit cluttered in my opinion. Because everything is made out of blocks and how fast the action scenes can be, it's actually really hard to follow what the heck is going on. Also, I don't like how this movie looks more animated compared to the Lego movie. That may sound really confusing to a lot of people, but let me explain. The Lego movie was done with a unique kind of animation. It had a slow frame rate. It pretty much looked like it was done in stop motion, but it turns out it was actually CGI animated. But they took the chances of making it look like it was stop motion because of the frame rate, how things were set, how the characters were moving. It looked like it was a stop motion movie. In this movie, the characters move a lot faster. The animation is a lot smoother. Yeah, you can pretty much tell that this is animation 
animation, which is kind of a shame because I think that's what made the Lego movie really good to look at because it almost felt like it was a stop motion movie. But honestly, those are really only my small problems. The Lego Batman movie is a joyous ride throughout. If you're looking for something that'll make you laugh, this is definitely the movie that you need to check out. I can safely say that this is the best Batman movie in a very long time.